Hello, hello. How are we all? Cheerio. Shrimp on the bobby. Anyways, uh, before I start this P.O. box, I just want to show something I got from Hasbro Pulse today. I just got it when I came home. Um, I'm getting the other one tomorrow. Makes no sense. Okay. But I figured I would start this one off with... Oh, man. <laughs> I am very excited for this. Uh, it is Iron Patriot, a.k.a. what it should have been in the first place. I will do a review on this. Do not worry about it. It also comes with the, uh, you know, Lebowski Thor heads, which is neat, but I'm not going to build it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyways, uh, P.O. Box time. Uh, so I got that from Hasbro. Thank you, Hasbro. Honestly, Hasbro Pulse is legit. I remember Hasbro Toy Shop, you always had to worry about not being able to get anything. Now you can pre-order everything, and it comes in a pretty good time frame. Anyways, uh, we need to talk about this. Um, so, my brother and I, mostly my brother, have uh, been very interested in Reverend Peter Popoff for quite a while. Um, this isn't a bash on religion at all, it's a bash on scam artists. Uh, Peter Popoff is a complete scumbag, and there's a special place in hell for him. Uh, <laughs> and he's still going strong with this. Uh, he was debunked by James Randi all the way back in the 80s, I think. And uh, he just waited, and he came back. What he does... Anyways, I, I need to mention my brother. The reason my brother did this is because he wanted to see if Peter Popoff will send something ridiculous to a weird name. And he picked Casfall Rem Daikun. I'm not going to say what that's from. Uh, if you if you know what it's from, then good for you. But if you don't know what it's from, then uh, then you don't share all of my interests, and that's perfectly fine. Anyways, this is uh, what he sends. So I'm not going to read through all this. Uh, this is just a little funny thing. Casval, uh, I've been praying nonstop for you to be blessed with money to pay medical bills ever since our call center gave me your name. I, I doubt my brother even called. Casval Daikun, did I spell that correctly? When you called, perhaps you thought it was by accident. I feel that a higher power directed you to call. I have something important to tell you, so please read on. And see what he does? He, um, you can see right here, he's such a beautiful scam artist. You think that's actually, like, a marker he marked? No, it's print. It is a print. Where he has, like, these colored prints, like, you can especially see right here. Quickly over, because he gets, he gets older and disadvantaged people to, uh, actually fall for this stuff. Did he send me? Yes, he's, okay, awesome. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what you do, you follow his special instructions, and you sow your seed, aka, a donation to him. Uh, <clears throat> this guy is so filthy, stinking rich. Uh, he gets small checks from people, and he throws them away. Uh, <laughs> I hate this guy, but it's funny. It's funny, and I just want to spread the good word of how awful Peter Popoff is. You've probably seen his adverts on TV. Miracle Spring Water. We'll get to that. Anyways, uh, you must qualify yourself for a supernatural blessing. Yes, this harvest of a great income. Uh, alrighty. Let's get to it. Uh, so this... This, ooh, is there a special instruction? Please do not open this envelope until you first... You first read my ministry letter enclosed. Miracle Spring Water Pack! Yay! I got Miracle Spring Water! And then this is uh, how you're going to send it back. Okay. Let's look at the Miracle Spring Water. Oh my gosh. I've never had Miracle Spring Water of my own. My brother's done this numerous times, but I haven't. I don't care about the freaking letter, man. Give me my water. Anyways, what he does, he just takes, like, tap water... And he calls it, like, Miracle Blessed Spring Water, and you're supposed to, like, put it on stuff, and it's going to bless you. I guess it's in this. Oh, my gosh. Is that... This is it? There we go. Miracle Spring Water. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. Oh. Oh, I love it. Ah. Oh. It's my own Miracle Spring Water. Uh, P.S. Uh, I will, I will, absolutely everything I see concerning you. Shocking revelations, incredible life transformation. I will, I will, I, I can't, I can't read your cursive. It's probably Peter Popoff that actually wrote that and they just copied it. I love all these underlines. It's, it's so scammy, man. Brother Daikun. <laughs> if you know who, if you know who Casfall Rem Daikun is, that's pretty funny. Um, special instructions. Um, what, what do they want me to do? Lay the Miracle Spring Water packet next to your bed tonight only. I believe the angel of the Lord will trouble your water. He will trouble my water so that when you drink it, I gotta drink it? Man, that's disgusting. How many people? I mean, this is probably in like a Chinese factory or something. 
First thing in the morning when you wake up, there's no telling what awesome power an anointing will be released. Get ready. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet? Screw it, man. This is more powerful. Um, claim the miracles you need with prayer and ask God to open the path. Uh, my prayer is for you to stop, Peter. I want you to stop because you're, you're not doing anybody any favors. And what he does, he probably has like these ghost companies that send people checks just so it's like, it's basically publicity so these people actually get money, right? But it's just a fraction of the money that he actually gets. He makes millions. He makes millions. Anyways, that was funny and also very upsetting. But anyways, we actually have a box to open up. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure I know who it's from. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to save that till later. But let's just say... He has sent me many great things in the past. For some reason, I got my hobby knife today instead of my box cutter. But you know what? It's fine. It's all good. It's okay. I mean, doesn't that look great? Anyways, um, let's see what we got. We have Downtown Map. Wow. Special 50% off virtual reality play with this flyer? Dive into the future at Fayetteville's first virtual reality arcade. Enjoy a one oh it's anime oh my gosh enjoy a one stop shop for all your Japanese retro gaming anime and pop culture needs at Tokyo Retro Gaming. Uh, if you're interested in that, then you know who Castfall Rum Daikun is. Anyways, let's keep on going. Bag. What we got? We have. Oh my gosh. Um, I hate that I don't know who this is because he feels very Ninja Turtley. Um. Mirage Studios Playmates. Why do people keep sending me really cool, obscure Ninja Turtles figures? I do not know. This guy is awesome. Oh my gosh, that is his name. He is, oh my, look at him. He's got a skull. I'm filming this on Halloween, by the way, if that gives you any idea of how far out I film these things. Dude, I love it. Oh my gosh. Man, people, please send me more obscure TMNT things. Really, I appreciate it. Okay, what else we got? We got... Oh. <laughs> This is Katana. I advise not being killed by her. Her sword traps the soul as the souls of, her, of its victims. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk straight. I'm so excited. This is Katana. I have the multiverse Katana from the Batman wave, but this is Katana from Suicide Squad. Um, I love it. It's the meme. I have the meme now. I love when. God, it's such a bad movie. They they made like. No, no one in their right mind. Like, Harley Quinn's saying something dumb and annoying, right? And then Katana's is like, oh, do you want me to kill her? It's like, oh, it's so dumb. Anyways, Optimus Prime. Without an arm. But that's okay. Because I already have this guy, and I have his cannon arm. So now I'm going to give a cannon arm to this one. And I'm going to have my other one without the cannon arm. Thank you very much. I love Robot Replicas, by the way. So awesome. I love this toy line. Uh, I just got the Robot Replicas Starscream. I don't know if this video is coming out before or after. Probably after. From uh, Logan. So that's another Robot Replicas. Uh, I mean, it, I already have that one, but still. And this guy, I already have. Um, I got it, man, back when it... I got it way back. Um, I actually got... I didn't get the set, but I've had this Optimus for a while. It is the... Um, oh my gosh, he's so... He's so shiny and nice. I love him. He is the Silver Knight Optimus from Age of Extinction. He is a repaint of the uh, Deluxe class from Dark of the Moon. And he's really good. Um, I have the normal, like a normal deco of this figure too, but still, man, I really like it. I'll, I'll probably pass this on to somebody else, um, cause I already have it, but seriously, man, I appreciate it. Thanks. So there is that Optimus Prime. Okay. Stand up, please. Stand up, please. Stand up, please. Uh, okay. Before we open any more, I want to read the letter. Um, it's Noah. That's who I knew it was. Uh, <laughs> let's cut to the chase. I put some stuff in a box, and now you're making a video. I'm still looking for the sash and dagger for Moss Man. Don't worry about it, man. It's all good. I love that Moss Man still, by the way. It would tickle my soul if he put some stupid music in the background. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, for the rest of the video, you're going to be listening to Kevin McLeod. Um, what was this? Noah Brockett. Fill in the blank. Oh my god! I saw um, I saw the last name on the thing was Brockett, so I'm like, it's probably Noah. I never told you this, but I have a very bad vision uh, due to some optic nerve damage. That's why my handwriting is so bad. Dude, I don't... I wear glasses, right? I wear glasses. But um, my handwriting is no better than yours, so don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is why my handwriting is so bad. It's also why Wheeljack's head was backwards, lol. Yeah, he posted a picture to Instagram where Wheeljack's head was backwards. <laughs> 
Uh, link to his Instagram in the description, by the way. He posts a lot of cool toys. I'm losing my freaking mind! Noah Brock on Instagram. Oh, look. Yeah, right there. Yeah, check him. Check out his Instagram. Check out Noah Brockett, man. He's awesome. He sends me cool stuff. Um, ooh, what's this? It is a gun. Looks kind of gun to me, but I don't think it... Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, let's keep looking. We got... Oh, yes! Oh, my God! <laughs> yes! Oh, I love it! So, remember I was talking about robot replicas? I have Bumblebee. I have Optimus Prime. I have Ratchet. I have Ironhide. Did not have Jazz. Ah, oh, <laughs> yes. They don't really scale well because the first movie robot replicas are way bigger. But dude, how did you know? How did you know? And seriously, just yesterday I was looking at that like, man, I need to get the jazz. Dude, I love you. Oh my God. Oh, it's so nice. I need to get that masterpiece jazz that just came out. Uh, oh, <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks, the squeakle. <laughs> the movie's actually in there. Oh, you knew I would open it up. God damn it, you knew I would. I'm eating Taco Bell right now. Um, I was watching this. Oh my god. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm never gonna watch that. Um, but I'm gonna. Oh, is there? Dude, there's. Dude, you. Ha Did you know you had gun gun club stickers in there? Dude, what kid is this from? I can't tell. You have gun club stickers in there, man. <laughs> Honestly, dude, I didn't really know you're that into gun club. Um. I'll, I'll put that with my Gunpla sticker collection. Uh, how do I get it out? Eh, eh, eh. Oh my gosh, how do I, how do I get it? Ah! Oh no, I knocked over Optimus. Eh. The extraction. There we go. Gunpla stickers. Uh, I might, I don't, I don't know what's, see, I'm trying to think what, let me know if you know, sometimes they'll let you know what kit it is, but this is an older HG, you can tell because they're using Japanese <clears throat> characters instead of numbers. Um, could be like some from Seed or something I'm not familiar with. It has a chin sticker, so it's pretty old. Um, but yeah. You can tell how much I'm, I'm into Gumbla. <laughs> I can just tell that. Ooh, I don't have this! It's Megatron! Do, 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 Cyberverse is really good. It's such a good cartoon. It's so refreshing to have a good Transformers cartoon. Um, anyways, let's reach in, see what we got. We have Gunpla piece. Oh, is the kit in here? Probably. Anyways, we have, um, dude, you, oh, you, you didn't find the other parts, but you found this. Aha. Oh my gosh. Because he said, um, he's still looking for the, uh, he's still, what was he looking for? Oh my gosh. Uh, what was the side? Um, oh my God. Still looking for the sash and dagger, but he found, ooh, that's a little hair on it, but he found the alternate head and the weapon. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. Man, that's sweet. Okay, anyways, reaching in. We have Angry Bird. Angry Bird. Angry Bird. Anyways, what else we got? We have Nerf Dart. You know what I like doing with Nerf Darts? My brother's going to hate me for this. But I like, oh, it's a whistling dart. My brother's going to hate me even more because he likes whistling darts. I like cutting them up. It's unsatisfying about cutting up a nerf dart and just like letting it slice you know just slicing a nerf dart like taking it off right and then i just like chop it into pieces i've destroyed so many nerf darts i have this bad like instinct to just want to destroy things that are inherently worthless um i don't know what that ta what that speaks for me but i like doing it um another gunpla part there's a lot of pieces in here oh soldier man gi joe is dead action man is dead there is only me. No. Yeah, he's actually kind of durable. He's not gonna break. Anyways, ooh, another Gundam part. Still don't know what Gundam it's from. Um, there's ooh, there's pieces. It's painted too. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, um. Ooh, awesome. Jazz has at least a part of. How does this work? Or does it go in there like? Oh, does it replace? What? What do you take? What is this? What you do? Is this what they have you do? Cause that's awful if that's what they have you do. But he has his weapon. Um, that's awesome. I'm not gonna display him with it, but that's cool. Thanks, man. Didn't even know he came with that. Uh, we've got another angry oh, a, oh, a pig bird. Angry pig. Ah. Can't believe they're doing a second movie for that. Anyways, reaching in, we got 
a piece to a thing. Anyways, reaching in, we got, oh, it's a pig from Anguabar. I don't know what these, what? Anyways, um, they're kind of cute. I like them. Where am I going to break? Oh, dude, it's, oh, it's red. I know his name because he's from the movie. Wow, I love Anguabars. You're my five wet. Oh my gosh. Dude, when's the Emoji Movie 2 coming out? Can't wait for that. Yeah, it's not going back in. There we go. Red, because he's red. <laughs> Good job, Mojang. It's not Mojang that did it. Okay, so this is the gun that we got. Um, it's, it's, oh, it's one of these. I just watched um, uh, Kakarot197 talk about these weird uh, Gundam Wing HGs from like some G unit, the manga. This is Gundam LO Booster? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if he's all in there, but um, I see pieces and I see things. Anyways, let's reach in. We got a leg. Ooh, he is. He's in a state. He's been very heavily panel lined. Um, let's reach in. Oh my gosh, another angry bird. Uh, anyways, we got, ooh, another sticker sheet. And then what else we got? We got, ooh, uh, Marvel Legends Claw. AKA one of the worst peg warmers from the return of Marvel Legends. <laughs> um, uh, I burped. Anyways, I never got this guy because I didn't, he looked neat. I thought he was neat, but I just didn't, I don't, I didn't really know him. And then he was in the, uh, you know, the movies and I'm like, Hey, that's neat. Uh, th they made a new one of this actually. So this figure is kind of obsolete, but still I like having it. Um, it's actually pretty nice. I like the feel of more unique older legends, to be honest. Um, they don't all need to be like the same kind of buck. Even though this older mold really has like some weird musculature, like those lines. I always thought that's really weird. Uh, but yeah, cool figure. Anyways, what else we got in here? We have more pieces to the Gundam LO booster. Then, oh, dude, this is awesome. Oh, d another figure where it's like, did you know I always kind of wanted this? Well, not always, I mean. But it's like I watched Deadpool 2 and I'm like, hey, Domino's pretty cool. There's a Marvel Legend of her out. And uh, I never got it, actually, but now I have it. So that's sweet. Actually, really good figure. It's actually a mold I don't have in, like, at all, I think. I think it's pretty unique to me. That's sweet, man. Thanks. I love the white the white and the black contrast. I don't know if any of her weapons are in there, but we will see. We will see. Anyways, we got tons of little Gundam pieces. I'm going to be having fun trying to reassemble him. Oh, there's Optimus's gun, so I don't have to worry about him not having an arm. I mean, I didn't have to in the first place anyway. But there we go. There's, there's Optimus gun arm. Really love that figure. I'm not gonna get rid of that second one. Um, Cause I often give these things, if I already have them, I give them to like friends and family. But uh, more, oh my gosh, there's so many pieces. Yeah, that guy, I think I wanna keep a second one around. Oh, Angry Bird missing an eye, oh no. What, where are those from, man? You're gonna have to tell me. Another leg to the Gundam. Let's just look in here now. Cause most of what it's gonna be is smaller things. Nerf darts, nerf dart. There is Optimus Prime's other arm. Here's the sword to that Optimus, which, fun fact, is G1 Predaking's sword. So, that's funny. But yeah, we just got more little Angry Bird Boys that I'm sure we're all very chuffed about. And tons of little Gundam pieces. Yeah, it's just a lot of little Gundam parts. Um, here, let's look at his main torso here. Oh, man. He is in a state. Was this, like, one of your first Gunpla? I want to know. I'm curious. But yeah, he is... I don't know if his V-fins in there. I hope so. V-fins are like one of the things that always go first, you know? It's like the V-fin goes, and then it's just, it's just a lost cause from there. But yeah, let's pour this out, see what we're looking at. So, we have parts and pieces. Cool! So yeah, I'm not I'm not too well versed in like old no or it's not a no grade, it's an HG. But these really old HGs. Um like look at that. It's just very let's try to get the legs on. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, because I know some people are like, Gundam you Oh. Oh, is that how you're gonna be? Or did it just not go in all the way? Nah, it just didn't go in all the way. Um, it's interesting how they did the knee joints. I've never seen a Gundam do knee joints like that before. Yeah, he's just not wanting to tab together. Come on, get your leg in there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so cool how it's like you were painting it. Man, that's sweet. Man, I'm definitely, 
I'm not gonna not like display this guy or anything because it's like this is your Gundam. Oh, it's so cool. I put I put it on the wrong shoulder. <laughs> I'm not gonna take too much time here. I just kind of want to give you a bit of a look at the Gundam. Oh my God, what's his name again? Gundam Elo Booster, apparently from Gundam Wing. Uh, I actually just did a Gundam Wing video, so if you want to check that out, be my guest. Yeah, look at that. The Elo Booster. Yeah, I don't think his V fins in here. I think that's lost to time. Oh, there's his beautiful beam saber with no painted hilt. Look at that. And then old polycap hands. Oh, man. Actually doesn't feel that bad for an old HG. Definitely feels like an old 90s HG, I can tell you that. But it's not that bad, man. And you did a pretty good job, too. It's got these shoulder pads, a little, little chunk of Lego, which I guess I'll take. And then, ooh, this is a... Uh, these look very domino-y. They also look very Nerf gunny. Uh, my brother, you're into Nerf guns. Let me know which Nerf guns uh, is domino rocking here. Um, oh, man. So awesome. Noah back at it again, sending me stuff I don't deserve. Uh, it's like he knows, man. He knows. It's like, yeah, I read I, I read uh, J4's mind one time when he was in a store looking at Marvel Legends Domino, so I'm going to send that to him. And I was just spying on him the other night. Uh, knowing that he kind of wanted Robot Replica's Jazz. So I sent that to him. And I also just knew he watched a video of uh, the old HG Gundam Asclepius from Kakarot 197. So I'm going to send him my old HG Gundam. It's like, dude, dude. And uh, I know he loves old TMNT. Dude, you need to chill. I also know he loves the <laughs> This is Katana meme. Who's better, Domino or Katana? In my opinion, no contest. It's going to be Domino, because um, her like weird superpower of having good luck is really interesting. Um, I like Katana, though. I really like that uh, new multiverse figure they have of her. Oh, man. Noah, you, you, you're too much. You're too kind. I love you. No homo. Anyways. Optimus, stop. Anyways, thank you so much again, Noah. I love it, as I always do. You fail. You never fail to disappoint. Uh, I, I love it. And then can't forget Claw. All the little angry birds. <laughs> I'm just going to put those in a bag. And then maybe one day they will reemerge. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, man. I love it. Uh, if you want to send me anything in the P.O. Box, there is the address. Um, feel free, man. Feel free to send me whatever you want. Uh, I don't really need any more Miracle Spring Water. But if you want to, if everyone wants to sign me up for Peter Popoff's whatever thing, be my guest. I, I, I gotta go. Bye. Thank you so much. And don't forget, Moss Man, Moss Mantimus Prime. I'm Moss Mantimus Prime, and my first order of business is to, to save the trees. It's that Team Trees thing going around, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool.